Hey guys, continuation of the uh, Steady Fingers. That's one of the other three that I had to get finished. Uh, this one has to be cut off here to get the forks open. And we're going to make uh, bearing pins. And I'm just on number four, which is, uh, I just started threading this. I was just going to point out uh, the first one I saved two and a half inches so I could chuck it the other way around. What I've done here is extend the fork end spare and I cut a relief here which is desperately close to the chuck, very close to the truck so I've really got to watch disengaging my uh, half nuts. So, quite a way to go. Just thought I'd pick up on this to show you got how I've got this the other way around. Just about okay, just a bit uh, tricky. <laughs> Alright, I'll come back when I've got the uh, various pieces finished off and we can put them in the steady and do a test. Whoops, that was my finger in the way, sorry. Okay guys, you'll have to <clears throat> excuse a bit of handheld here. I'm just trying to get the angles. What we've got now for the fixed steady in here is a length of is about 16 inches of 32 millimeter, which is fat enough that it wouldn't go down the spindle. So this is a case where if we want to face and uh, put in a center drill. Uh, this is where the steady comes in. I'm just going to rotate. I'm not sure whether this there's always so much reflection on these uh, dial gauges. You might just see it. I've got it set. I haven't finished setting it. about a couple of thou, maybe a thou and a half. And I started off back here, got it set up by the three jaw to get a an initial setting and then just made a few final tweaks down here. So that's tipping the camera on its side. All rotating quite nicely. I'll just put this on the tripod and see if I can get a view of it in action. Alright, <clears throat> it's about the best view I can manage at the moment just to try and cover everything. So we're set up on here. Got good contact. All the ball races are firm. Alright.
Okay, I just carried. I forgot to turn my ear off, so I couldn't blow that off. All right, so that's basically prepped now to take a um, live center. Now I don't know. I don't zoom in too much on this because, although it's better than my old camera, it doesn't always like it. We just see if we can see the uh, ball race is turning. I expect you might see it. Just a slight polish. I did clean this piece up slightly, but of course, where we're contacting it, here there's a polish from the bearings. So there you go, fairly quick uh, demo, I don't think there's much else I can show about it. Um, the nuts give me the final setting and then lock, lock down. So the setup doesn't take too long except for the last thou or two. And uh, basically there it is. Four little devils. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm just showing the uh, nuts in use. See, so that's clear. And to set up, it's just a case of. Oh, I haven't tightened that up. <laughs> I have to tighten this uh, very well to avoid any slop. But anyway, adjustment is pretty quick. Just take it up finger tight, get the uh, locking engaging on the flats and then it's just a case of work on all of the uh, nuts. Alright guys, that's the end of that little bit of fun and games. I've got a small minor item in mind which I'll try and show you soon. Nothing exciting, just a little bit of an add-on for the uh, mill. Alright, there we go, thanks for watching.